everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this episode I'm going to give you my final conclusion on what I think about this printer behind me, the ANET E10. Uh, well, to be fully transparent and, and open to you guys, this printer was sent to me by Gearbest. Gearbest gave me this printer for free to review it. So I'm going to keep this printer. Uh, that said, I'm not getting paid for this review and the bumpers in front and on the ending of this video are there because of a special promotion there is. It's a September promotion of Gearbest and I thought, well, it, it was only nice to give something back after they gave me a printer. So this is my full disclosure about I'm not getting paid for this, but I got the printer. Now, what are my thoughts about this printer? Well, you have to divide it in three parts. I already made three videos about it. In the end, I think it's a very, very good printer. But should you buy it? Well, maybe not. And I'm completely honest in this review, because I want you to know what, what's wrong with this printer. And if it's not a problem for you, then it's a great printer. If it is a problem for you, please buy something different. Now, let's start with the beginning. When you open the box of this printer, then you have three parts that you have to connect. The upper part, the lower part and the box. Those are the three parts that you have to connect. When you uh, connect the upper and the lower part to each other, then at first you will see that the steppers are positioned wrong. So uh, you should turn the steppers for the z-axis a quarter turn and only then you will be able to to, to get the thing together as it, as it should. Then uh, after you've done that uh, you will see that some cables are not really stiff on, on, uh, on the mounts and th there are a few things of this printer that are not very good. But hey, I, I got it working so you get it working. Then I made my first print and when I made the first print I was seeing that straight lines, straight vertical and horizontal lines were not straight, they were wobbly. And this has everything to do with tightening the belts. But as you get this printer in three parts that are easy to assemble, you normally don't want to adjust belts right out of the box. So this was my first real bad experience out of the box. Uh, the printer was having uh, z-axis motors that had to be turned, the belts were not tightened, that kind of things. So I tightened everything. I tightened the belts, I tightened the bed, I tightened everything and, and then I got this printer for a second run. And in the second run the printer was really way better. Uh, then I was not completely convinced about the slicer that, that they give you with this printer, so I started using my own slicer. I work with Simplify 3D because I love that slicer and I paid for it, so well, <laughs> I better use it, otherwise my wife gets mad with me. Now, that said, uh, I have to make a profile for this machine, and I made a profile. I made a profile for Simplify 3D and this machine, and I gave that profile, as you can see in my third video I made about it, uh, so everyone with Simplify 3D can simply download the profile and start working with it on this machine. I also made some new parts. As you can see, all the brown parts that you see on the printer, uh, they are made uh, by users on Thingiverse. And I downloaded their files and uh, I improved my printer with it. And really, it makes a lot of difference. If you have uh, their optimizations, then this printer really excels. Then, for the third video I was making, <laughs> I found out that some screws just fell out of the bed. And it has, it's got everything to do with uh, the rumbling of the parts. Uh, the screws are just, yeah, they're rumbling out. I, I don't know if rumbling is the right word, but I don't know a better word. Uh, it, it vibrates and then the screws get out. So I had to use Loctite, as simple as that. They should have done it in the factory, but hey. Who cares? I put some Loctite in the screws and now the screws are very very tight and now this printer is really as good as it can be. It's really a very nice printer and it gives me very very good results. Now what should I do if I were you? If you, my audience, are 
the first time buyers who never had a 3D printer before, well, skip this printer, don't buy it. It's my honest and unbiased uh, answer to this. Because this printer has to be tinkered. You have to know uh, how, how printers work. You have, to know, you have to have some understanding about uh, if you see a problem on your print, what the reason can be for this problem. And if you have this, then you can really tinker this printer and, and you can really make it a great printer. And especially for the price, it's a very low priced printer, then this is a great machine if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing and you're that first time buyer, well, please buy something like a Creality CR10 or something like that. It's a little bit more expensive, it's a little bit uh, bigger it also, it, it's, it's got more build volume than this printer, but it's really a way better printer for a new user. But if you're on the cheap and if you want to have a good printer that you can tinker yourself, this is a great machine. Really, it is. Now, that said, um, I have some links in the description of the video down below. There you can find links to uh, Gearbest gave me this printer and it are affiliate links so if you buy uh, and you use those links then i will get a small percentage and uh, well it helps my channel now remember what i said if you're a first time buyer and you don't know a lot about 3d printers skip this printer also don't use the link in the description down below go for the creality cr10 or a printer like that there is a link in the description down below as well so go for for that kind of printer but if you know how to tinker a machine if you uh, followed my first three videos and you think well i can do this then please buy this printer because it's it's really a good printer for a low price you have to do a lot about it you have to do everything over again they uh, they installed all the parts and you have to get everything loose and connect it again because then it's a good printer so this is my real final thought about this printer. It can be great after you did something for it. Because it's not great out of the box. That's my real honest opinion. Now, there is a special promotion, a September promotion from Gearbest. And you saw the video at the beginning of, of this uh, video. And there will also be a bumper on the end of this video. And this is a special sale promotion, which runs from the 6th of September all the way to the 11th of September and then there were special prices on special products so if you're into buying new gear uh, from Gearbest well you better wait to the 6th or the 11th of or September uh, in between that time they will have special promotions now this is all of my video if you liked it please give it a click and, and like it uh, also if you don't like it please Use the thumbs down button, but tell me why you didn't like it, because I want to learn from you guys. And, uh, well, subscribe to my channel, because I make new content every, I say every week, but sometimes I skip a week. So, please, uh, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button, because if you don't hit that bell button, you won't be notified when I make a new video. And, well, I could tell something that you maybe like, so you better hit that button. Hey, see you guys next week. Bye bye.